Father's Day weekend deals always draw in a lot of families into Point Blank Sporting Goods. It wasn't those deals that kept the store busy this year. The AR-15 or the t tactical rifles is pretty much what we sold the most this weekend. This gun wasn't even on sale this weekend, yet it was the highest seller. It's not just gun sales that go up. Customers have also been coming in uh, to rent the gun and use it on the range. Every time gun control is in the headlines, there's just a heightened interest in this weapon. We've had a lot of people that come in here that not necessarily buy a gun, but they'll come in here and they'll, they'll talk and they're, they're asking questions. Hey, did you hear this on the news? They're voting on, on the Senate on Monday. And, things like that, and they're asking about pricing, and do you guys do layaway, are they going to ban them? Manager Rafael Guerrero says the spike in interest is expected. Demand for the AR-15 soared after the Sandy Hook shooting, making the price of the rifle skyrocket. It hasn't happened at this time yet. One of our the vendors that we buy that we buy from, he said that all of his uh, stores or dealers that he works with in Florida had a huge spike in sales this past week, like more than any of his other sales or other stores that he's got in other states. As for gun control legislation, Guerrero isn't too worried about his business. He says this store already takes precautions past what's required by federal law. They ask more questions and are on the background check form and trust their gut instincts. Just like everybody else, you have the right to refuse service to anyone. We, we exercise that right here all the time. I mean, anywhere to anybody. If we don't think a firearm is going to be for them, we simply don't sell it. Though it is legal, they do not sell guns that will be gifted to someone else. They also refuse to sell a weapon to a person whose FBI background clearance has this not come back like after Robert 72 Day. hours. So the delay lasts after three days. Legally, we're allowed to sell them a firearm, even if we haven't gotten a response from the FBI. We don't do it here. Employees here encourage people to be comfortable with a weapon before purchasing. They expect to stay busy until the gun debate quiets down once again. In FAR, Leslie Aguilar, Channel 5 News at 10.